Okay, good evening. How are you? Good evening, ma'am. I'm I'm fantastic. What about you, ma'am? Yes, I'm doing well too. Thank you. Uh, please tell me a little about you. Yeah, uh, my name is Shipra. I'm basically from Uttar Pradesh, but currently I'm living in Karnataka, Bangalore, and I'm married. I have two kids. I'm currently working as a English teacher. I'm handling lower classes. Okay. Okay. So, do you want to know about me, or you do? Do you already know? Yes, please, ma'am. That I want to know about you. Please elaborate yourself. Sure, sure. My name is Shanta, and I used to work as a spoken English trainer, but not anymore. I am just doing YouTube full time. So it's been around five months that I started my YouTube channel, which is English with Shanta, and I'm working for my channel. I basically have conversations, or I upload spoken English content, related content. So I also live in Karnataka. I've been, I was born and brought up in Karnataka. So I'm a settled in a place called Raichur. So I'm a full time homemaker as well. I have two kids. So that's it about me. I don't have any hobbies as such because I like interacting with people, reaching out and talking to them. So this is consuming all of my time. So yes, that's it about me. Okay. Mm. Tell me, do you work in a school? Yes, I am working in a school. So is it a private school or a government school? Yes, it's it's a private school, ma'am. Uh, recently, I joined this since uh, eight months back. Okay, okay. How old is your youngest one? Your youngest kid? Uh, my youngest kid, uh, he is uh, five years old, and my daughter, she is uh, ten year old. Oh, exact same pinch, I would say. <laughs> so that is the reason you got back into the workforce because now you have yes. sufficient time to work, right? Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. That's why I joined this so that I can manage my responsibilities, taking care of my kids, and I can manage school work as well. Do you have somebody to help you out with kids? No, ma'am, I don't have. We are living in a nuclear family. Me, man, my husband, and my two kids. Oh, okay. Does it get hectic sometimes because you don't have time for yourself, right? Sometimes, but uh, because this school is giving me the second Saturday and fourth Saturday as a holiday, so other things which I need to complete in mm -hmm. like a weekdays, I am just uh, keeping aside those works I am doing in weekends. Mm. So, do you have any hobbies? Like right now, I would say all my hobbies is just taking care of my kids and managing my work with with the school. Uh, yeah, I love to dance like when uh, whenever I get time or my mood is too cool, I don't have any other work. So I love to dance sometimes with my daughter as she is uh, fascinated by the dance and all. So she is learning from YouTube and then she normally she showed me many of the dance forms. So she is learning and with her I enjoyed a lot. Yes, ma'am. Nice, right? She's only 10 years old and she's learning and teaching you as well. Yes, ma'am. Sometimes, you know, like these kids have a different kind of, you know, atmosphere and environment. And they, um, I don't think that nowadays parents should, you know, encourage kids towards the extracurricular activities or anything which is uh, like, which is new for them. They easily adopt, ma'am. Like apart mm -hmm. from academics, parents, <laughs> there is no need to, you know, force them and tell them you should learn. They automatically learn any kind of application, which is little bit uh, kind of a kind of, a, you know, difficult for us to learn whether it is on mobile phone or on laptop. But kids, they have their fresh mind and they easily learn and they will tell you the other options and features of that particular application. Yes, they have so much ex exposure. They have so many resources, actually. It's not that easy yes. to learn anything these days. I mean, it's not that yes. difficult to learn anything. They can learn anything easily. And they should also be interested yes. in it, right? Otherwise, if you have a shy kid, you will have to force her into all these extracurriculars. But if she's interested from within, it is very nice, I would say. Yes, yes, definitely. Yes. Mm -hmm. Are you planning to further enhance that quality of hers by putting her into some professional training? Uh, yes, I'm also planning that I should uh, I should uh, send her in uh, Karnataka like a cultural uh, dance that is called Kathak or uh, one more is there. I'm not getting 
yes bharat natyam ma'am so, so she was telling me that mama please put me in one class that i want to go but because uh, my hectic schedule me and my husband both are managing somehow next year we are planning to send her in these classes so that she can explore more about yeah. different dance forms yes mm-hmm. yes because their minds change so quickly by the time you decide and to do something for them they are again shift their thoughts they put they suddenly become shy or no i don't want to go so when they are interested then only we need to push them that happened with my daughter when yeah. she was younger all the time she used to keep dancing she would put the music and she would uh, call for us look i'm doing this 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 so i thought i think that was the best time for me to put her into something like this but now that she is grown up she doesn't want to join anything and she has become very shy she likes to play okay. with herself she likes her own company so you know it changes very quickly how how old she is she is all uh, almost 11 i would say 11 okay in which class she is going right now fifth 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 so my daughter she is in fourth right now now in april uh, she will go in fifth standard oh okay right yeah so you have entered into the workforce just 8 months ago right so did you have prior work experience before having children or anything yes ma'am i have uh, almost 6 months experience of kindergarten school as well and uh, i have like before marriage i was working as a assistant uh, lecturer in one polytechnic college okay. in delhi yes so how did it feel again uh, getting adapted to working uh, full time did you face any challenges yes initially uh, actually there are a lot of hurdles that i was actually and you know just the f- first one was that managing with my little one because every time i was here at home and i was giving every single thing in his hand and even i was just feeding him you know making chapatis and different different varieties which he likes very much but now it is i'm not getting that much time so i prepare food in the morning like very quickly and sometimes he doesn't like but it's still because of uh, my hectic schedule he needs to fulfill all those basic requirements so now i am thinking that you know because of my job also little bit i need to manage the, i'm dealing with i'm struggling with the time management still mm-hmm. i feel this so yeah next year it would be better because i will i would plan more in many other ways where i can give some more exposure in like cooking i will i will take one uh, help helper in at my home so that it will be easy like for chopping and all because here uh, every cook they easily make different kind of recipes with the rice and my kids they like chapatis <laughs> like every time in breakfast lunch and dinner they want chapatis mm-hmm. so this uh, yes <laughs> Mm, nice and uh, you're working on your communication or english anything on those yes, lines ma'am. Mm-hmm. yes ma'am actually i was uh, i i have been uh, started my journey since last year but uh, i took 6 months break and then i lost my fluency as well as i started making more mistakes Uh, regarding with grammar uh, my pronunciation and little bit of under i had started feeling under confident as well so i thought uh, why should not i am i can start here i can start again also and then i will get the fluency and now i decided i will not even take any kind of break every day regularly i need to practice mm-hmm. what are you doing in order to practice have you joined any spoken english classes what are you doing I didn't join any spoken cl- classes ma'am and uh, yeah I tried uh, one uh, class with English here and I liked the way I mm-hmm. think almost every applications what they are providing the way uh, to you know rectifying your mistakes like right now I'm te- talking with you communicating with you I do realize that I little bit I am also making mistakes because mm-hmm. I have learn that what the correct grammar is but once you start talking with someone but the thing is that if you are fluent and that you are not giving much pressure on what mistake you have done then i think people 
the people will accept easily but mm-hmm. when you are not even communicating in a fluent way and then when you start agitating that you have done some mistake then other person easily catch you so mm-hmm. like some mistakes are acceptable when it's come to spoken english but i just want to uh, make sure that i should not do even though i can easily rectify my own mistakes ma'am even i have done some mistakes while i was talking with you but uh, the thing is that i just want to reduce these things yeah mistakes are a part of learning i would say and not even part yes. of learning it's it's like a continuous process even when i talk so, suddenly a mistake comes up so it's in spoken english you yeah. just can't be perfect if somebody better than me watches me they would be able to find out where i am making a mistake and what mistake i made so there's uh, uh, there is always somebody senior to you who is looking and who can correct you so i think it's okay correct indeed <laughs> yes but i just i just uh, i just wanted to i just want to myself to put uh, out com- uh, put out from my comfort zone so that i can convey my thoughts in a very in a good manner in a sequence manner what i am looking for that is still if i want to convey my thoughts there is no sequence like i just uh, mm-hmm. wherever i am getting any sentence which i am very familiar with that i just pick that sentence and use it when it comes to using any phrases any idiom any new vocab even i have learned lot of but still i am unable to use those in my conversations yeah i would say they are only passively they are there in your head they have not yet become active once they become active it will it will be a breeze for you it will come naturally to you so you are just not yes. used to using them correct ma'am yes, mm-hmm. yes. if you have a That's session with somebody and you plan ahead what you are going to talk to them then you can plan everything in your mind and then you see where you i mean how you are able to put yourself out how you are able to speak in sudden conversations it is difficult but when you plan and speak slowly slowly that will become a part of your speech yes yes correct ma'am i have i have watched your videos and uh, i was thinking that yeah that somebody is like me who is a homemaker earlier and then managing the kids and still you are working on your communication skill you are running your youtube channel and all i got inspired and i thought i should talk to you yeah it is such an honor many people tell that i get inspired by you and i want to do this i want to also improve my communication skills so i think everybody should because now technology is so advanced i would never imagine having a video call with you or getting to talk to you right so we have such a privilege yes. so why not utilize it yes 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 correct ma'am <laughs> that that's that's why i didn't join any platform i thought if this kind of you know that knowledge which you can gain uh, through youtube and these video calls everybody is ready to give you the knowledge just just you just ready you have to be ready with your brain and you have to tell your mind that there is knowledge around you but what thing is that we don't have much time so mm. i thought i should utilize this one then i'll think about you know joining any platform any application like for for spoken english that yes, uh, yes. available nowadays but they are charging too much man <laughs> like english yearly sessions i have <laughs> for 99 rupees i have booked just just one trial session and then mm. i start watching you and other youtubers and their english yearly clapping go conversations i thought i am still not on that level i should use these conversation to improve my english grammar and other part of my speaking english then i'll go for the sessions then it would be more you know uh, interesting for me as well mm-hmm. and always it is different when you talk to a tutor and when you're just having a casual conversation is different you're not that very conscious i would say Uh, but when you're talking to a tutor you are not ready even to put out your thoughts you are always in that judgment zone maybe the tutor will stop and correct maybe i will tell something wrong so yes. there is a difference there is a difference correct me because my tutor when i joined that session she told me you need a more practice so i yes. thought i should work on my fluency again and i should work on my practice that speaking practice those words which were i was just aware of those words but i am not using it regularly and when i start using those words automatically exert in my mind and i can usually convey um, uh, my thoughts using those new words so 
so i thought i should start right now and this mm-hmm. is my second conversation through skype i have already joined one more youtuber she is also very good she is also doing good on youtube yeah okay so who is that uh, youtuber whom did you have your first session with uh, she is uh, a girl from haryana named jyoti and uh, she is also running her youtube channel and she is mm-hmm. good she is doing good uh, the problem was with her that little bit of influence of regional language Okay, okay. Even I feel I I feel the same way, ma'am, <laughs> because we are from Hindi background, and, and I feel a bit little bit of influence of North Indian is different, and South Indian they have different accent. So by the by the time it will uh, we will remove this uh, ex- influence of regional language. Yes, that is the last thing to get rid of, because first you need to work on your yes. fluency. Yes. If everything is perfect, still in some words it will show. your regional language will show up some way in the way you talk or your expressions yes. somewhere it will come out yeah but mm. uh, uh, what i have observed in you that i if you would uh, like if you would not have told me that you are from south i i i would not have you know recognized you you are from south <laughs> because it's not about your uh, how you are looking at all but you are speaking totally in neutral accent and that's what i want to learn Yes, yes. It is quite difficult to master, but it will need a lot of practice. That's it. Yes. yes. Mm. And how was your first time on video call? You seem pretty comfortable. Yeah, ma'am. Yeah, that's that's what I want to tell you. That uh, I was why I was comfortable because I already know that somebody who is like me and I can easily convey my thoughts to. Uh, when it's come to tutor and trainer, like little bit of hesitation in our mind that that they will easily you know catch your mistakes and then in the last or in the end of the session they will tell you. the for that uh, I, sometimes you know whatever you want to convey you you feel uh, shy or sometimes you have some in your something in your mind but you are unable to convey even i felt the same way i can uh, i can talk with someone like uh, uh, continuously one hour or 30 minutes continuously without taking any pause i can mm-hmm. talk if 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 you will give me any uh, words or any kind of situation i can talk but when they give the situations and they ask could you please make the story over this <laughs> and could you please talk o- on this topic for 5 minutes and after 4 minutes we feel blank i don't know what happened whenever i uh, took any tutor sessions mm-hmm. I, it <laughs> happened with me it happens it is natural because if you if i give you a certain topic to uh, talk about it has different vocabulary different words it's not easy at least if they have given you prior to okay tomorrow we are going to talk about this topic at least you have time to prepare yourself but if it is extempore it will take uh, i don't know it will it will require a lot of courage for you to even get the thoughts right it is difficult because this yeah. is a general yeah. conversation we are just speaking our thoughts it's okay it, it's just yeah. common but if i talk you uh, ask you to talk about an un- un- unemployment in the country something economy of india something like this it is difficult yes. right you are not used to to using such kind of words correct so. yes ma'am that is what i am actually still slogging out <laughs> that i should work on my communication and and that is uh, one more thing that when you start uh, speaking to someone who is a stranger and who are who is not going to judge you on those basis you can convey your thoughts very easily yes i get it yeah <laughs> so anything else so before we wrap up yeah you have any questions yeah so i just wanted to ask you that uh, how do you manage with your kids and how do you uh, ma- uh, run your youtube channel smoothly is there any other thing which you uh, post uh, apart from this conversations and any other thing for learning english okay. Yeah, nowadays I'm posting solo videos as well because uh, shooting solo videos is quite difficult. But uh, since you know that you are now you are in Karnataka, you know the academic year now exams are going on. Then two months there will be a holiday. So currently it is becoming very hectic for me to arrange time. But your your mail just came right in time. I would say my son slept by mistake. He wouldn't sleep actually, and I can't imagine talking to anybody in this time duration when my kids are around. but luckily you were yeah. active when i replied to you and it suddenly clicked 
So this is how I'm managing in bits and pieces. I don't know. I'm going with the flow. It is difficult, but I'm just going with the flow and trying to do. Because you, I have to be consistent because I have been uploading a video every single day. So it is a struggle. I have to do it for myself. Yeah. And how did you how did you think that uh, like uh, that you should run a YouTube channel and just uh, what what was the purpose behind this? Purpose was to use my time constructively. And as I told you, I worked as a trainer on one of the spoken English platforms. So when learners have session, they post our conversation on uh, YouTube. So I thought, let me do it independently. I will talk to people. I will invite people and post on my channel so that people okay. can learn from the conversations. They will have a listening practice. And since this is a real world conversation, it's not scripted. You don't know what I'm going to talk to you. I don't know what you're going to ask me. So it is just expressing your thoughts spontaneously. So people will know what kind of questions we can ask each other and how to keep the conversation going if you're talking to a stranger. So it's more about communication rather than English. Yeah, yeah. And do you or do you add it to the videos, uh, conversation videos as well, or you you just upload the, the way we are talking right now? Some tips, parts, if I feel that I need to edit, I will add, edit. But otherwise, I just, you know, maybe I trim the first part when there is a, like, you know, technical issues or yeah, such, such kind of areas. But other than that, I don't edit much. Okay, okay, okay. So you what, what would you... YouTube? No, ma'am, I'm just, uh, this, my, I'm just, uh, you know, having conversation with different, different uh, people just to enhance my fluency and just I'm working on my communication skill so that I can learn many things. I'm not even thinking about, you know, making, running my own YouTube channel or something because I'm already occupied. I have a lot of uh, on my plate. So I'm still struggling. <laughs> yeah. yeah uh, later on, I, I will think about this. Mm -hmm. But my daughter, she is very fascinated by this YouTube running YouTube channel. And she also created and she is posting little bit of art and drawing videos. <laughs> but not yes. me, ma'am. Yes. Mm -hmm. so, ma yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, will you uh, suggest me something that uh, on which areas I should can move work and how can I utilize my conversations? over this uh, over these kind of uh, applications see when you are mailing somebody for conversations you just have a preconceived notion about it what you're going to talk in the session and plan your words or sentences accordingly you just maybe i would say writing will help you before every session just write down otherwise when you connect suddenly you will forget whatever you have prepared so when you write down at least 50 percent of it will still be there in your memory so you are planning to use advanced words or idioms, those kind of things. Just write sentences in which you can use those words. So th then when you're yeah. talking, it will be pretty easy for you to use them and talk. And very, as you also said that you have very minute grammatical errors here and there. That you know the rules, yes. but some word is coming in the flow. Yes. It happens. Yes, so you, you need yes. some practice yes. to get over it. That is it. It is not that easy because your English is already good. Just minute yes. error here and there. Your pronunciation is also good. Fluency is good. Yeah, just practice. And if you are looking into using advanced things uh, while talking, just prepare yourself ahead the, before the conversation and try to talk on different topics. Because that will yeah, include okay. different vocabulary. You can suggest the person can we discuss on this topic. So you will have different vocabulary and sentence structure associated with that topic. So that will okay. improve your English, your communication on a whole. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Man. Next time I'm looking forward to meeting you <laughs> with my own spare topic or something which we can easily talk. Yes. Thank yes. you so we much for that. your such ma'am. Yeah. Next Thank time you. I'm definitely I didn't prepare anything and randomly I just uh, messaged you because I was also not aware of this thing that you will also reply me on the same time. <laughs> So I thought maybe you will take and maybe you will say that next next day or in the evening or maybe next week I am already occupied. I was looking that that kind of message will come. But when you <laughs> suddenly said that can we have a conversation, I thought, OK, this is the good time. I'm also free. So yeah. I didn't prepare anything. And just this is a, a kind of random conversation. That was a nice conversation, I would say, because without having a topic, we were able to talk for this long. 
which is not easy. Yeah. Sometimes you just have to keep asking question and the person answers in a word or a sentence. So that uh, conversations are really difficult to handle when the opposite person is not that cooperative while talking. But without a topic, we are able to talk so much. So I would say you're a good speaker. So yeah, we'll okay. talk next Thank time. You so and much. you were ready with your answers, right? When I asked you, give me your Skype ID, you were ready. So that's, why we, uh, that's how we instantly yeah. connected. Otherwise, it would take time. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, one more question I have that, uh, okay, can, could you please give me, as I am a teacher, but I am fresher still, I am fresher, mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. I joined as a fresher teacher, now I have six months experience, but still I need some kind of guidance and some kind of different approaches that a teacher can use in uh, while taking the classes and all. So I would ask you, as you are an English teacher, and if you would ha if you would have handled lower classes, what kind of approaches you would brought in the class? Mm. See, honestly, I do not talk to my, uh, many children. If you have been following my channel, so only two or three. That's why I firstly refuse when I uh, get to know that they are children. So I tell tell no, sorry, I don't take sessions with children. But if they are very adamant, I just feel like I don't want to break their heart. So sometimes I have session with them. But honestly speaking, I don't have the quality to deal with children. I had the kind of patience and love prior to having my own children, honestly. But after having two kids of my own, I do not want to. Sorry, it's not I do not want to. I don't have it in me anymore to entertain children, talk to them, walk to talk to them. Because children are, this is a video call. It's not easy for them either. And it is mostly one way. You keep talking and uh, they have different questions to ask you, like which is your favorite color, flower, these kind of things. So I would say since yeah. you are teaching smaller children, you have to be a children with them. You have to become a child when you are with them. You have to keep them entertained. Otherwise, they will not listen to you. Okay. Yeah, okay. you should have a lot of patience. You should always be happy, loving, smiling. Because when you hear I from Watson... Yes, yes, ma'am. Yes. Mm, yeah, when, when my son comes back, so from them, from him, I learn how a teacher should be. When he says, my madam did this to me, my madam told this. Some There are some days when he's so happy. My mom, my mother, I mean, sorry, my madam put a star on my hand or she told me good boy. So some small things affects them so much. So you can learn from your son indirectly what kind of a teacher he is expecting. So like that you can... Yeah. Mm. yeah thank you so much ma'am for your suggestions i definitely work on those part which you have already explained thank you so much for your time as well as we have connected like in my very this is a kind of very random session so yes. i really liked it i really enjoyed with you talking and it was really nice meeting with you over this uh, this call yes thank you so much for joining i love the conversation too you have a good day and okay. uh, good luck yeah, same, same to you, ma'am. Okay, thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Bye-bye.